Well, I'm doing it, Doug. Hey, you? you too. How are you? First question is about the involvement in the, in the project. How did you get involved with Zanya? Um, I got involved in the project first, it's like a couple of years ago now, but I sat down with Michael Apted in London and um, he, um, he explained his passion for the film and his view of the character in a way, because the, you know, there's a handful of scenes in this film and that, that my character has an impact on Numi, who is our protagonist in the film. and, and uh, Michael was really open to some of the thoughts I had and he, he had some great ideas, you know, he was like, you know, the guy starts as a rogue, he starts as this sort of charming, near-do-well rogue, he's, he's then a bit of a lover and a seductive, you know, he's sort of seductive and charming and then he's sort of, um, he has this sort of heroic turn, what seems like a heroic turn and then he turns into this very duplicitous, dangerous kind of guy and then he's, you know, an out and out, you know, thuggish, like getting what he wants, like we'll do anything, whatever it takes to get what he wants, because he is that guy, he's that sort of hired gun. So that was for me a fun opportunity. What was the most sort of challenging scene for you to shoot? Uh, well, I had this dog attack me <laughs> at the end. And when you have like 250 pounds of uh, Rockweiler, you know, diving at you and grabbing your arm, I mean, admittedly it was padded, but it was pretty, that was, that was an adrenaline rush I haven't had before. How much training did you have to do before starting shooting? Um, we, you know, we worked out the fight routines, learning, you know, learning fight routines like learning sword routines or it's sort of, for me, it's like it's kind of like you just do the work and the muscle memory kicks in and it's like kind of learning a dance routine almost, but it was, it was um, you know, there was, a, there was a certain amount of prep to get all that stuff right, but it wasn't extensive. How would, how would you describe your character? Who is Jack? Jack is a, um, he's a hired gun, he's a lethal weapon, he's, he's a loose cannon, and he's unpredictable, and he's dangerous. Um, you know. What would you say about Unlock? What would you tell the viewers? What, what can they expect from Unlock? It's, it's, it's tonally, it's like a female born, if you like, is sort of, when I read it, I felt like this is sort of similar to a born movie, but you've got Numi Rapace, at the center of the film, um, as you know, Matt Damon's character, if you like, it's it's that kind of female born. It's sort of an action thriller adventure that you know, but it has um, it has a, a true to life, you know, story that's unfolding. You know, we, we live in, in in a crazy world today, and you know, terrorism and and these kind of acts of terror are they do happen, and 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 this movie. You know, it it, it, it it talks about, you know, it follows the journey of this character as, as something, you know, very dangerous could unfold and, you know, they managed to avert it. Jack is, uh, unlike any character you've played before in your career, was that the attraction and why? Yeah, it was, it was an opportunity just to show a different side of myself, you know, there's like, you know, a, you know, there's a there's a danger to to this man. There's a threat and a you know and a an unpredictability to him. And you know, all of that is um, it's all part of who I am. It just doesn't always get shown on camera. And so it was a great chance to do something different. Tell me about the uh, movie with uh, your, your your main partner in, in, in shooting that movie. How was that for the two of you to work together? She's wonderful. She's um, a very committed and and a committed actress, and she's super. Um, you know, authentic and original, and she's she was she was really wonderful to work with. I really I really loved it. She's um, she's you know very talented. Obviously, I mean, <clears throat> the girl with the dragon tattoo, the original film that um, that's when I first saw her. I mean, that's a tour de force performance. I mean, that's one of those once in a lifetime performances. You know. What about uh, the director? What about Michael? What did you learn from him? How was he on set? Michael's incredibly experienced. He has, um, you know, a wealth of, uh, you know, experience under his belt, and he was he was he was wonderful to work with. He was really open to, you know, um, ideas that you know I had, and he, and he was he he was he enjoyed that. You know, we laughed and and, and played with it because I wanted to, uh, you know, really try and make somebody really unusual and authentic in this character. You know. And he gave me the opportunity to do that. And, and uh, Michael is, you know, 
he very clear. He has a very clear vision of what he wants, and he uh, it was it was a it was a well run and and, and great production. Hey, Vale here with an added bonus to this video. Now, just like me, I'm sure you love movies, and I've got some pretty interesting movie budget facts, if I do say so myself. Did you know that the movie Gravity was more expensive than the Indian Mars mission? Yes. Paranormal Activity cost less than $15,000 to make, but crossed over $193 million. The production of Disney's film Tangled was more expensive than Avatar's production. Best Picture Oscar winner Moonlight was made for only $1.5 million. There hasn't been a Best Picture winner with a budget that low since Rocky. Napoleon Dynamite had a budget of only $400,000 and John Heather was paid only $1,000 for his role as Napoleon. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides officially holds a record for the most expensive movie ever made with a budget of $378.5 million. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. Bye bye.